Hey ladies and gents, I thought we would try something different today. We always do first appearance in speculation comics. I have a new idea. I hope you like it. Let's start now. Hey ladies and gents, your pal Rob here. All right, today, I thought we did something a little different. This is a neat idea too. Um, you know I buy a lot of comics and I figured this time we'd try something kind of cool. Um, I thought I'd show you uh, my good girl art comics. I don't have a big supply but I think I have enough here to make a video. And before we start, let's go over what good girl art is. Now I had to pull it up because I wasn't quite sure totally what it was. According to Wikipedia, good girl art is artwork featuring attractive women in comics, comic strips, pulp magazines, and the term good girl art was coined by the American Comic Book Company in its mail order catalogs from the 30s to the 70s. And according to the science fiction writer or author Richard Lupoff, uh, he defined good girl art as uh, a cover illustration depicting an attractive young woman, usually in skimpy or form-fitting clothing, and designed for erotic stimulation. Uh, the term does not apply to the morality of the girl, who is often a gun mole, tough cookie, or wicked temptress. So, there you go. All right. Now, I have a few books here. We'll start with the 50 Cent books I have that, are, that I think qualify and those terms. I have Bloodstone number two. Now I have Bloodstone number one, but that isn't as good an example. But here's number three. And I have Dawn and Vampirilla number one. I got this one recently too. We have Bomb Queen number two. Uh, Red Fox number six. Poison, I guess it says zero. Lori Lovecraft, number one. Vamprilla, 20. This is more of a bondage cover, but you know, you get the idea. Uh, Cheval Nowhere, number one. Dave Stevens artwork. And Dave Stevens is really popular with uh, good girl, bad girl art. We yeah, Miss Fury number two. Uh, Machine Girl number one. Blackbird number one. I don't know if this qualifies or not. I thought it was a neat cover. This is also Jen Bartel. You know, my favorite uh, artist, one of my favorite artists, so she qualifies. All right, then we have here Emma Frost, number five. Emma Frost, number six. By the way, this is Greg Horn art. Greg Horn does great art. And Emma Frost, number seven. And also, I have Astonishing X-Men number 43, Emma Frost. And this is Art Adams artwork. And I have here, uh, Vengeance of Vamprilla number one. I believe this is a second print. 
And Heroes for Hire number 13. All right. And the next books were more than 50 cents. So those are the 50 cent comics. These were from cover price and up. For example, this one was cover price, Sacred Six. This one I think was a dollar, Sun Bakery. This one was two dollars. I'm a Bruce Tim fan now. Amazing Spider-Man. 49. And this is, I believe this is Art Germ. I'm a huge fan of his Catwoman cover here. Catwoman 15. Love the cover. Street Fighter. This is a, this one I picked up from an artist in the UK. I believe this is Cammy from Street Fighter. This cost me, I think, $8. Shipped from the UK. Danger Girl number one. This cost me a buck. This uh, J. Scott Campbell artwork, as you can probably tell. But this one cost me 35 bucks. Got this from Ez from Twilight Zone Comics, great deal. This one is really popular. Marvel, this is number five of six. Real popular cover. This is also Greg Horn artwork too. Greg Horn does great work. And last but not least, we pulled out this plastic so you can see it better. It's kind of a dark cover. I believe this is a Shannon Mayer cover. Dark red, number one. This is a variant. Hope you can see it. Closer. There we go. 9.8. So, anyway, guys, that's the extent of my good girl art so far. Hope to get more in the future. Hope you liked it. And if you have any suggestions for other videos, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, hope you liked the video or the comics. And if you did, leave a like. Make sure you're subscribed. Any questions, you know, in the comment section. And make sure you have the notification bell turned on because I'll upload videos pretty frequently. Anyway, it does for now, guys and gals. I'll see you later.